Welcome to the review for Unit 2 BATQUEC. So as we mentioned early in the previous section, um, there was a doctor in Florida um, who is a chiropractor who was giving out uh, notice or pieces of paper that would say that children or adults would not have to wear masks um, in Florida. Um, and chiropractic is kind of an alternative form of medicine, um, so it often goes hand in hand with some alternative ideas about the medical establishment. For example, anti-vaxxer beliefs. Um, and this doctor um, is, was perhaps one of those people, um, and he was a particularly egregious example <laughs> yes. of um, someone who was um, trying to kind of work around the, the government rules and regulations um, and the traditional medical establishment. Egregious. Egregious. So the medical establishment is pretty appalled at his actions. Um, he would just leave notes on his secretary's desk um, to for people to take as they as they wanted. Appalled. Appalled. What kinds of concerns do you think that people in the U.S. have about vaccines or um, do you think anybody is using these to make a sales pitch for selling their own alternative treatments? Mm. Sales pitch. Sales pitch. Wow. Uh, I mean, what concerns or conspiracies are there not in America? <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, turn on the TV and it just feels like there's this in endless and uh, news about the conspiracies mm. of things from anti-vaxxers and yeah there's been some things i've heard where mm -hmm. people are pushing oh buy this like kind of tea or supplement you know eat this food which is in a way a sales pitch like you said right. they're trying to push somebody to buy something as a health alternative natural remedies right you know or the medical profession is like homeopathy. Mm -hmm. I know that word, but really there's no homeopathic remedy. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, even people who are healthy are reacting to COVID or right. even a vaccine. There's just a lot of things unknown about this. So mm -hmm. there's some, like the big conspiracy I heard was the microchip in the vaccine. The microchip. That's one of the more <laughs> far-fetched ideas, I think. Very <laughs> far-fetched, which lead people to be anti-vaxxer, like you said. Mm -hmm. Have you heard anything? Um, certainly the, the microchip, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think that's one of the more um, outrageous examples, mm -hmm. uh, but just ideas that the, the vaccine is not as good as getting the disease mm -hmm. or things like that. People are very concerned about getting sick from the vaccine right? Um, or more sick. They think it's worse than getting COVID itself. So mm -hmm. I think that there are many different conspiracies about the vaccine and Big, big pharma. <laughs> right. And, you know, on top of that, you mentioned about this uh, chiropractor in Florida mm -hmm. uh, and what he was doing is very egregious, which appalled a lot of actual practitioners, mm -hmm. uh, other, you know, family doctors or surgeons and people who actually do more than a chiropractor. Um, right. Because it was a loophole in the law that all you had to have was a medical exemption from a medical practitioner mm -hmm. and unfortunately chiropractors classify for that. Mm, they are considered doctors. Yeah, it's like going to your eye doctor and saying, oh, I'm medically exempt from COVID, you know, restrictions. <laughs> it doesn't quite make sense, but that's the way the law was. So uh, yeah, other people pushing anti-vaxxer stuff is just ridiculous. It is a big issue in the world. Yeah, lives. and we know all about that being from America. So. As Americans, yes. yes. <laughs> Okay, that's it for Unit 2, Backquack. See you in the next one.